Hello, my name is Thomas Arvid, and what I do is I'm an artist that does original oil paintings using wine as a subject matter. What I do is I, I have captured a way of how we consume wine today. When you think of how uh, still life used to be done, it used to be done in a, in a way where it kind of made, it, made you think that don't touch it, somebody's trying to paint it. But the way I paint it is the way it, it, we consume the wine. The glasses are full, there's corks on the table, corkscrew kind of still has the cork on it. Uh, so, so, and these paintings are so real that people think that they're photographs. The wine as a subject matter is something that I stumbled onto it about 14 years ago. As a young artist, you're trying to decide um, what to paint and how to paint it. What I, what I recognize is that the most successful artists had a, had a focus, that had a direction that they were going in. And at that time, I did not have a direction. So I decided I was going to paint things that were red. So I started painting Converse high top tennis shoes, radio flyer wagons, crushed Coke cans. And along with that series, I decided to paint wine as just a subject matter. And it wasn't about making it a still life, but it was about kind of like breaking down the formality of a still life and making a still life as we, we use it and we participate within the drinking of wine. And it was the same way when I did the tennis shoes and the radio flyer wagon. But every time I tried to do a wine painting to go with my series, it would sell right off my easel. And it took me about four paintings before I, before I realized, hey, I can't get my wine paintings done because everybody's buying them so fast, and that maybe I was on to something. And, and that was so, 14 years ago, I realized that maybe I better start focusing on it, and it's been a huge success ever since. One of the best parts about doing what I do is interaction with the, with the collectors themselves. I find that my collectors are real, genuine people that enjoy really living a very enriched cultural life. Their wine is meant to be shared, and I think that's what they see within my paintings, and, they re, and it reminds them of times that they spend with friends. It's not about the hectic life of, uh, um, you know, just work. and they're, we, they tend to really appreciate that downtime of enjoying a glass of wine with friends. And in turn, it is reflected in the way that they collect art. And so with me out on the road traveling all over the country doing shows, I get to interact with those people and they share wonderful experience with me. So I truly feel blessed in, in the lifestyle that I'm living. Art's been in me my whole life. So it's not, um, it's almost like I don't paint for the money or the fame or anything. I pretty much paint for myself. It's kind of, it, it's hard to explain in the English language because I don't think there's a word that really kind of descri describes how self-fulfilling it is to be a creator, to be able to, to take a canvas or a piece of paper and turn it into a beautiful piece of artwork that people actually cherish. So the to try to ask like what the point is, there, there really isn't a point, it's just my life. It's actually part of my life and that's what I love to do.